Hi, this is Rosa Cruz of Treasured Babies. I'm going to just show you very quickly how I'm painting Chloe twin number two. I'm trying to make her a dark skin. So I'm using, right now I'm using a Flesh 02 and Flesh 03 mix with a little bit of blue in it. And um, I'm just going to paint. So I, I'm going to start, I'm going to start with a smaller brush because I'm going to do her her toes. I want to make sure I get all the toes here. And I'm painting, I'm not painting the bottom of the foot. So I'm just going to go do her little foot. And, and I'm pouncing it with a cosmetic wedge. I'm not using the brush because dark skin, the dark skin color seems to um, just not spread as well when I use a brush. So I'm using a cosmetic wedge. I will use a, a brush just to get it out of the creases because I don't want it to pull in the creases. So I'm going to just get the paint out of the creases otherwise it'll look real real dark in there I'm making sure that I'm stirring the paint really 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 well and I'm cleaning my brush I'm not doing the bottom of the foot and again, I'm pouncing, I'm pouncing. Now I'm gonna use a bigger brush to do the rest of the foot. And I use a cosmetic top of brush, a foundation brush. This one is the e.l.f. foundation brush. And I'm gonna just paint the whole leg, making sure I get every bit of it. And this baby already has 36, 37 layers. This is layer number 38. So it takes a long time for me to build up the dark color. And after I do, I did all of it. You can see I painted the whole leg. Now I'm gonna pounce. And I, Go ahead and just um, squeeze it onto the paper towel to get the excess off to make sure that I don't I can get some of the paint off of the leg. I don't want to rub or anything, but I don't want to leave a lot of paint on there, and especially in the creases. I don't want to leave a lot of paint because otherwise it pulls and and it starts looking dirty. So then I pounce, 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 pounce. Try to get the whole bag. And I'm glad I'm pouncing because there's a spot here I had missed with the brush. So I can just go over it several times with a pouncing cosmetic wedge and it'll be okay. Go over the foot again. Making sure and then I hang it over here to dry and I'm gonna do ouch ow. I'm gonna do his arm again I'm gonna use a smaller brush to do the fingers making sure that I don't put a lot of extra paint because I don't want it to all get in the, stay in the creases. So, 
I'm not doing the palm of the hand, but I want to make sure I do the fingers. I want to do all the way to here on the fingers with the dark skin color. I'm not doing the palm of the hand. And then I take my wedgie again and I pounce it, trying to get all the excess off. Now I take the bigger brush, dip it in the paint, but I take as much of it off as I can. I don't want a lot of paint on the brush. I just want it. I always stir it every time I put the brush in, I stir the paint. I'm still using Genesis heat set paints because I still have enough of them. I did buy the irresistible heat set paints, but I haven't really used them. These ba this baby in particular has the irresistible primer. I primed it before I started painting because this is my fourth kit and this Chloe kit, for some reason, I have a harder time at taking the paint and when I'm going darker, I need for it to make sure it's taking the paint. So I went ahead and primed this one because I, I had a difficult time with the other one. And it looks like the paint is more even it's smoother. It seems like the primer has helped. I'm hoping it has. And and I cannot really tell. The primer feels okay. It feels fine. You cannot, it's not rough or, or anything like that. But it helps the paint really stick better to the vinyl. It seems like Right now, I'm only like, I'm on layer 30, like I said, layer 37, 38. And you can see the difference. This is this has not been painted. The flange has not been painted. And you can see the difference. It still has a ways to go before it looks closer to my skin tone, but it's getting there. It's getting there. And then this one I hang right here next to me. Uh, the smaller one, then I'm gonna get the other layer. Same thing. I'm gonna do the toes. I'm gonna stir, 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 stir. Get as much of it off the brush. And this time I do wipe it on the paper towel before I use it on the toes. And again, I'm not painting the bottom of the foot. I'm just painting. And it doesn't have to be real even there. And then I, again, I take the wedgie. I'm gonna get some of the excess off and I'm gonna pounce, pounce. And I can see there's a little bit of extra paint in here. Looks pretty good. Then again, I take the bigger brush, I stir the paint again, and it's the paint is very um, transparent, very translucent. If I leave it any darker, it starts looking dirty when I'm painting. I don't like that look. So that's one of the reasons my other Kit twin. This is the second time I paint twin number two because the other one that I painted did not meet my standards, and there was just a lot of problems with the paint, with the vinyl. Um, it was. I just decided to do it over again. I cannot, in good conscience, make a custom baby that I am not happy with. So it's my loss. But um, I feel like it's, it's also, I win if I make something that people are happy with 
then I'm going to have repeat customers. If I paint something that looks nasty and I'm not satisfied with it, I may never get that customer again. And then again, I pounce, 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 pounce. Pounce, pounce. This has had layers of burnt umber, red, yellow, blue, um, crimson with burnt umber, and then a warm blush, tint to the knee, to the ankles. I don't know if you can see it. And then, um, and I will do a warm blush on it again in one of my final stages once I'm satisfied with the skin color. Yeah, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. This one has a vinyl body. I will not show on the video, I will not show the front part of the vinyl body, but I will paint the body. So, and this one I just use a big brush all the way through. And I will not use a cosmetic brush, um, I mean the cosmetic wedge on it. I use a cosmetic brush, a pouncer, because it's a bigger area and I, by the time I get to one area it's already drawing funny or whatever so I will use the cosmetic brush um, this one I'm just painting all over because it's a skin color I'm not skipping any parts I've already put some blush in some areas that I want it darker and um, It'll just bring that part out. I do not want to show you. It, this is a girl. This is an, anim, an anatomically correct body part. Okay. And I've done some Mongolian blue spots. I don't know if you can see them. There's one right here, and there's another one right in here, and right over here. So, since it's a dark baby, and I've done them early on, and then as I paint more layers, it just kind of looks like um, it brings them out. I will use, like I said, the cosmetic brush, which is this. I just pat, 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 pat. I'm just getting the access off so it doesn't pull in the creases. And I might do the wedgie just real quickly. In some spots that I see the water. And let's see if I got one. the face the head um, I start on the back of the head again I stir the paint and then I get as much off the brush as I can and this one I'm using the big brush again I don't need to use a small brush I 
I just want to make sure I get get it all evenly painted as much as I can. And I'm moving as fast as I can. This paint doesn't dry very fast at all, but I don't like for it to sit in the creases too long because, like I said, it starts looking dirty and I don't like for the creases to look dirty. Especially the the dark paint. I'm even doing the lips and I'm doing inside the mouth. I'm doing inside the, the nostrils. I'm doing inside the ears. And then I, when I start pouncing, I do start pouncing on the face and go work my way back on the back of the head. Sometimes on the back of the head, I use a brush. I don't use the wedgie. On the dark skin, I don't like to use the, the, the cosmetic wedges, but on the dark skin, I've learned that it helps keep the paint smoother so that we don't have dirty spots on it. Making sure I get it out of the eyes. I'm gonna use the corner of my wedgie to just kinda make sure I don't have any extra paint. And she's got some real deep um, wrinkles in here. I wanna make sure that I get it out of there. I don't want it to look darker there then. And I'm going inside the mouth with the corner of the wedgie. And around the lips. The creases, okay. Now I can work my way up the head. I'm gonna root this baby so if the painting is not perfect on the head, I don't stress out as much. I don't worry about it, but it still looks pretty, pretty good, pretty even. And I did do one texture, a set of texture layers. So I did a red, a yellow and a blue and you can see some of it through the paint so it's very very subtle the veins are very subtle too you can see some veins right in here I didn't do very many veins on her and then she's got a vein in the forehead and then on the temple here again, she's got some veins. And then you can see a little bit of where I've started already using a little bit of a darker color around her, the edge of her face here and right here. And then a little bit right here on the forehead. Thank you very much. And then I'm going to let her dry and then I'm going to bake them. I bake them for nine minutes at 260 on my oven, which goes to about 265, something like that. Thank you.